for young boys in particular, there's an adverse risk associated with the vaccine. It's like yes. a two to four fold increase in the instances of myocarditis. Yes, but versus you know what? Hospitalization. The, you know that there's COVID. an increased risk of myocarditis in among that age cohort from getting COVID as well, which exceeds the risk of myocarditis from the vaccine. I don't think that's true. I don't think it it's is. true. I don't. No, no, no. I don't think it's true that there's an increased risk of myocarditis from people catching COVID that are young versus increased risk of myocarditis from the vaccine. No, there is. There's both. Well, let's look that up because I don't think that's true. <laughs> There's both. Myocarditis is more common after COVID-19 infection than vaccination. But is this with children? Uh, yeah, we're talking about young people. Men and boys aged under 30 after this is what it says here. With, with children is the issue. Well, no, we were talking about 15-year-olds. Well, we're talking about young children. Male so, yes, 12 to 17. 12 to 17, more likely to develop myocarditis within three months of catching COVID at a rate of 450 cases Per million infection, this compares to 67 cases of myocarditis per million at the same time following their second dose of Pfizer. Yeah, so you're about eight times likely to get myocarditis from getting COVID than from getting the vaccine. That's interesting. Now, that, that is said, not what I've read before, but 